Switzerland is a land of mountains. Railways wind up long, steep slopes to the villas, and on the mountain tops, ice and snow lie all the year round. Heavy banks of cloud mist cling to the mountainside as the train climbs slowly up. To this little alpine village, the train brings many visitors, for people come from all over the world for holidays in Switzerland. Indeed, many of the people village make a living by supplying the needs of tourists. Here, a Swiss boy and girl have stopped to watch the newcomers. Trudy Nagali is the girl's name. Her brother's name is Hans. The Nagali children often linger in the village when they come in to buy supplies. Today, on their way home, they stop in front of the shop of a woodcarver. Among the many carvings is a figure of William Tell, the famous Swiss hero. There are also carvings of animals. Hans and Trudy decide to go inside the shop. They always like to see the odd little cuckoo clock. but the clocks remind them that it's nearly time for lunch. Near their home, Grandfather is working, spreading the freshly cut grass to dry in the warm sunshine. Are there many people in the village? About the same as usual, Grandfather. The children are excited because Grandfather says they're going to the upper pasture tomorrow where they'll see their father and their brother, Hermann. Are we really going, Mother? Yes, if you're good. Having tended the fire, Mother begins preparing for the trip. From the smoke room upstairs, she takes a slab of bacon. Father and Hermann will need fresh supplies of food. Twelve o'clock, and time for lunch. family have their lunch of soup, milk, bread, and the cheese for which the Swiss people are famous. High above the Nagali home are the pastures of thick, tender grass where the village cows are taken to graze in the summer. Here, father, like other Swiss herdsmen, tends the cows which help to provide a living for his family. Every day after milking, father takes the milk to his mountain hut, where he makes it into cheese. Hermann, his eldest son, helps with the work. Today, he is harvesting hay. In front of the mountain hut, where they spend the summer, father scours the copper cheese kettle until it is clean and shiny. Cheese making is an important part of the summer work. The large quantities of fresh milk would soon become sour, but cheese made from the milk keeps for a long time. Into the milk as it heats over the fire, Father places a thermometer from time to time. When the milk is just hot enough, 
he adds a liquid which causes it to curdle. The curds become thicker and thicker as father continues the stirring, finally forming a soft cheese. This father puts into a mold. He squeezes out the liquid part, which is called whey, and the cheese becomes firm. Day after day, cheese like this is made in the mountains of Switzerland. Much of the cheese is finally sold abroad. Early in the morning, Mother and Hans and Trudy are ready for their long climb from the village up to the upper pasture. They pack up the supplies for Father and Hermann. Grandfather is too old to climb, so he stays at home. Past the family vegetable garden and up the path lined with flowers, which leads to the pasture. On the slopes, other villagers are harvesting hay. As soon as the hay is cut in the warm sunshine, hay is most important. It means winter food for the cows when the pastures are covered in snow. The climb is steadily upward. Already the village has been left far below. Sometimes the path goes through tall pine woods. Although the trees grow tall and stately here, at a short distance higher up, it's too cold for trees to grow. Now the family pause to rest. How much longer is it, asks Trudy. About an hour, Mother says. Trudy's climbing shoes feel heavier than ever. As they rest, the family look at the snow-capped peaks of the Alp towering around them. Some of the mountains are tombs high. But now it's time to continue the journey but it's still a long way to the upper pasture. Even here, on the higher slopes, the hay harvest goes on. Still nearer the top of the slope, Father and Hermann are working. As they cannot leave the cattle they've brought up to the summer pasture, they'll not be able to return to the village until winter. Therefore, Father and Hermann look forward to the visits of Mother and the children. They're glad also to have fresh supplies of food and to be able to look at a newspaper again. Now for a meal together near the hut. There's mother's fresh bread and plenty of good cheese and fresh milk. Everyone has a keen appetite after such hard work. The Nagali family are glad to be together again high up in the great mountains of Switzerland. 